best part has been obviously the, the students. I, I, mean, I look around a quiet gym and I say, this is no fun at all. Um, but as soon as the kids get here, the gym is alive and energetic and dynamic and there is things going on everywhere and that's just my favorite part of coming to work. There's a pendulum in physical education. We go from learning skills is the most important, children knowing how to throw a ball, how to bounce a ball, how to catch a ball, how to skip and jump and hop and gallop, how to play games, and then we swing back over to fitness is key. We need to curb obesity. We need to make sure every student can run a mile, do a pull-up, and understand curl-ups for their life. I think that it has gone back and forth at least three or four times <laughs> since I've been teaching. And right now, it seriously is about in the middle, thanks to the direction of Mary Bell Avery. I think society wants to pull us into fitness, that fitness is where physical education can make the difference. But as Mary Bell says, kids need to know how to do things, be proficient at a few skills, and master some so that they can enjoy what they're doing. They can enjoy being on a ball team or running or riding a bike. They need to have those skills in order to be fit. And I think that's where I'm landing as well. I actually think it was in high school when I um, hadn't thought about being an athlete. I, I don't even sometimes consider myself an athlete. But I'm from a smaller town, I'm from Alliance, Nebraska, and they needed some girls to go out for ninth grade volleyball. <laughs> so my friends and I decided we would try that. And I fell in love with athletics at the time and the coach at the time who was um, very, um, she, was, she was a builder of people and we could all feel very successful no matter what. We didn't think about records and things even though we weren't too bad, but um, it was just a place where I really felt successful being physical and having a great time with the uh, collaboration with, uh, I don't know, collegiality even when you were high school kids and all of a sudden you had a great group of friends and I just saw how something like sport could bring people together and uh, help people learn and grow and have a great time. Gratitude to Lincoln Public Schools because Lincoln Public Schools provides those kind of opportunities. There are not very many districts that will help you grow that much professionally. And Lincoln Public Schools recognizes National Board Certification and then uh, Teacher of the Year awards. They will help you, they'll do everything they can to make sure that you can strive for um, loftier goals in your profession, if you will, if you'd, if you'd like to, they help with that. It's also what has helped me to be able to get more things for the students. Um, if you are a recognized teacher, then quite often you can get more grants. And we have inline skating that is a grant program. We got a grant to start the climbing wall. Um, we have a grant that helped us get in la or the um, elementary golf. So we have, you can gain more things for your school and your kids if you work hard yourself. The elementary kids are just, um, they love you. They love you no matter what. They're unconditional, like little puppies almost. They just, <laughs> what are we going to do today? And yet you can see such progress too. I get to see them for seven years. For a while we had K through six. Now we have K through five. And I see such progress in the kids and they have a great time no matter what you do. We have a wonderful curriculum. Uh, Mary Bell Avery has just put together just an outstanding nationally recognized curriculum here that's really fun to teach and so you just you love to come to work every day and you get hugs all around and kids hanging on you all around and that's you can't keep that up. <laughs> Weather permitting we'll be on the playground and we'll have a great time and we'll continue to teach. I'm certain there will be some skills that I will correct and some accolades that I will give and some encouragement that I will try to um, impart. <laughs> and then a lot of gratitude. I know that there will be thankfulness everywhere. I can't, uh, I can't thank everyone at this, in this community enough for what they've done for me. My final words would be thank you. My final words would be of gratitude to Lincoln Public Schools, to the students, the families, um, the teachers, the principals. I've had four great principals here. I've gone through four 
really what I believe to be outstanding superintendents that all put people at their core and then see what they can do. They know that teachers and staff and faculty, the more they make us have um, a great feeling about our position, the better we'll do with teachers. And it's just such a fulfilling career to have somebody like um, Dick Spearman and Dave Rutledge and then I had Sue Braun and now Wendy Badge and they're just outstanding leaders, outstanding leaders. And to learn from them, I've been very blessed to learn from them. I think that I would not have had, um, as I said, I'm a professional development geek. I love to go to professional development things and no other position offers you the opportunity to grow as a person and grow as a profession, as a professional. So I just think gratitude and thankfulness to this community and to Lincoln Public Schools community.